Hello Scorpio, this is your reading. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice. And Happy New Year, I'm going to say, but it's not New Year yet. I hope you will enjoy New Old Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I hope it's going to go in with a bang, beautiful bang. Uh, let's have a look what this reading is suggesting. And if you're new, then please subscribe and hit the bell and join us in the live session. I know there are still 5,000 followers that aren't members yet, so please join us and the family, the cyber family. We call each other the cyber family. The tea room is the live sessions, the chat, and we have cyber babes, cyber angels now. It's progressed, it's gone up a level. It's not cyber babe only but a cyber angel. Okay, come in and join uh, join in if you like. You're more than welcome. And of course, a problem shared is a problem aired. We don't only give, uh, I don't only give out free cards, but we get support from each other. Sometimes we are, we are laughing ourselves sick, literally. But it's lovely. And I'm, I love my cyber angels. And I wish you all the best. And thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Your first card, Scorpio, is release your ex. You have to release the past. Even if it's a couple of years ago or months or days or weeks, then it's still fresh and still painful, especially this time of year. But do try to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. If you do not release the past, you cannot go into the future. You might be putting a brave faith face on this, um, but you know, people that know you can really feel your energy, that it is a sad time for you and that you cannot release the past. Um, perhaps the, if it's not you, it could be your partner, your ex that always wore a mask and didn't communicate properly with you and share things with you. Learn from that, let it go, and open up to new possibilities. If you are partnered up, then um, you don't have to release your, your ex because you are still together. But do release their energy. Um, don't take uh, over their mood, their, uh, their... They might be feeling sorry for themselves because some reason or rather and they're wearing a mask putting a brave face on talk to your partner and ask what is wrong perhaps then they can release their problems and not um, make it a heavy atmosphere so that everybody is feeling their mood clear your energy whatever don't take over their energy very soon uh, Clearly, clearly decide what you want to do, oh, sorry, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. You don't want any heavy energy, you don't want masks, you want honesty, you want luck, you want happiness, you want excitement. So decide what you want and it will come to you. Put it out into the universe and to the angels because look, it's waiting for you. And the white flowers means also reminiscing about the past. This could be indeed an X, the energy of an X, right? So perhaps you are in a situation with your partner at the moment that looks a lot like the past. Help them. You've learned from the past. Don't let it get that far that you don't speak to each other. This is the six of coins and the six of coins in tarot is uh, give and take, share and share alike. Perhaps you might be in a good mood and they aren't. So share, give a listening ear, give a helping hand. Their time will come again to listen to you or give you a helping hand. Forgive and learn. Yes, that's what I just said. You have learned from the past. Don't let it come to a situation where you don't communicate with each other and the love or the spark dies out. 
as you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes, the problem shared is a problem aired, and it makes the light and the atmosphere light again. Look at this. This I couldn't. I couldn't do this if I tried to put the cards together. There might have been a heavy period, but because you're sharing your um, your time, your ear, your hand with them, if it isn't you, um, the sun will break through. After rain, sunshine always comes. Okay, there's birds here, so that means that there is news. News is coming through. Okay, news is coming through. It, remember, um, it always pours, it never just rains, it pours, but the, um, the sunshine is coming through. You might even go up to the next level in your relationship. If you're not married, they might want to get married, talk about it and comp make compromises. This uh, in includes the wedding, the wedding includes this situation in invites a marriage, so you might grow closer together. You might take that step. Perhaps you have an issue or they have an issue with regard to marriage. Make it, um, make it, be able to speak about it. Make it known that you can speak about it, because there is news coming and perhaps official news and it's lying underneath the wedding. So if you can make the right compromises, there won't be any arguments. There will be official documents like a marriage certificate. Very, very beautiful. Like I said, very, very beautiful. I couldn't organize this. Look at this. This looks like a cathedral, the overall energy. It could be something as simple as that that you um, have been hurt in the past by an ex or your partner, your present partner has been hurt by their ex and it's time for them to take off the mask and release it. But I think it's more likely to be you, Scorpio. And I think there is a wedding in the air because of the wedding card, because of the official seal, official documents, and you've got the tower that looks like a cathedral. Yes, there will be a marriage, definitely. Now, if there are any issues or problems, then this is a magical card as well. Speak up, speak your mind. Don't wear the uh, mask. Don't let them wear the mask. Luck is with you. This is your soulmate, definitely. Forgive and learn, both of you. I think this reading is not only for you, Scorpio, but also for your partner. And pearls of wisdom. Use your wisdom. Use your 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 past. You, uh, forgive and learn. And all of a sudden, I'm getting um, I'm getting a message. Some of you, one or two, perhaps three, might be reconciling with your ex. So you might let them go, um, but yes, you might uh, get together again in order to forgive and to learn to forgive and learn from the past and to uh, gain knowledge, pearls of wisdom. Archangel Ma uh, Michael asks you to speak up at this point in time. Your viewpoint needs to be heard. So if somebody is wearing a mask, you, like I said, speak up. I, this is a two-way reading, really. Speak up if you are not happy with uh, your partner. You know what it, they might be going through this, trying to release their ex. But you know about it. You might have had the um, the experience already, and you've you're, you've let go of your partner, and you know how not to wear the mask. It's a two-way situation. You either are wearing the mask and you're not letting go, 
and you're not forgiving, but that is coming in the third week or the end of the month because you've spoken to your present par partner and you've clearly decided what you want or you have learned from the past and um, you have forgiven them and it is could be your partner that is not releasing their ex. But it will work out to a more beautiful result, better than you anticipated. Then you have the lime green angel. Money is about to be manifested. Perhaps you uh, couldn't take the next step to get married and now there is because money is coming your way. The angels ask that you feel marvellous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive abundance of money. Not only money, but I see you getting married, becoming official couple, whether it's in a church, a registry or with a contract of sorts. Scorpio, I think it's a beautiful month for you in January. And if this is your wish, good luck and be blessed. If this is not your wish, then obviously it doesn't resonate with you. Have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Perhaps that may resonate with you even more. But up till now, all the readings have been really, really amazing. I wish you all the very best and all the luck and love you deserve. Everybody deserves luck and love. Take care and I hope to see you in the live sessions, if not in the next videos. And please share this with family and friends and give us, all of us, the family, the thumbs up. Because you are part of this channel and we make it together. Together we stand strong. Love you all and take care.